You want to get in the middle? Or no. Do you want I hate middle. Do you hate middles? I, I can go in if you want to. No. Gonna, do you want I me to? I see how it's you're thinking. Closer. I get the kid's seat in the middle, even though you're tiny. Okay, now put your seatbelt on. Can we go to the horn? <laughs> Hi, I'm Gina McCarthy, President Biden's National Climate Advisor, and I'm here to take a nice ride with a good friend in a classy Class 8 truck. <laughs> and I'm Jennifer Granholm. I think I'm the good friend she's referring to. <laughs> I am the Secretary of Energy, and this classy Class A truck is a Kenworth fuel cell vehicle that we are about to ride in. Okay, so are ah! you not excited? <laughs> we have a deal, a bipartisan infrastructure framework deal. We do, and it's awesome. It is awesome. It's big and it's beautiful. And it's bold, and it's going to invest in electric vehicle infrastructure like charging stations, but also, hopefully, we're going to see incentives for these big trucks, which are emission free. You're not kidding. The Build Back Better plan has to spend some resources on giving consumers and people who manufacture these vehicles like Packard an opportunity to lower the cost so everybody can make them available. It, this is the future we're driving in right, right now. Riding in. We're Neither riding, one of us yes. are driving. This vehicle is a Kenworth fuel cell vehicle and it goes 350 miles before you have to refuel it. All with zero emissions. And as we know, the transportation sector, especially trucks, are a big contributor to carbon pollution. Except when they're clean, right. like this one. And just think of what that means for neighborhoods where that are living along the highway that have to face the pollution from these trucks. It can be a future where that no longer exists, this where our kids don't get asthma attacks and our, our parents need to worry about these trucks living within their midst. Yeah, huge for uh, environmental justice, it where is. you've got a lot of freeways that, that have cut through neighborhoods. And part of the president's plan is to build that infrastructure we need to give that momentum and those tax credits to businesses and to consumers. This particular vehicle was built, guess where? Where? In America. Oh, <laughs> been there. Using American workers. I mean, really, that's what we want to do is incentivize the whole built manufacturing of vehicles. Soup to nuts in the United States. When you hear the word climate, you think jobs. Yes. And you know how many jobs are in the trucking industry? A lot. A lot. Like three million. Three million. Oh, that is a lot. It is a lot. Manufacturing and driving, right? Right. Right. <laughs> so, hey, so one of the things in this bill, speaking of jobs, is investing in the stuff that makes this run, all the electronics, which is like semiconductors. In fact, isn't there somebody that we know I that is... I think there is. There's somebody we know that is we working on this. We should see if we could give them a call. What do you think? I think we should give them a call. Gina 2 to Gina 1. Over. Gina 1 here. How are you, ladies? We are doing awesome, but something came up. It's called semiconductors. Now, I know that's probably not a half of a conductor, but could you explain this to us? In every one of these trucks, there's over a thousand semiconductors. President Biden has a plan before Congress right now called the CHIPS Act, which would put $52 billion into the Commerce Department, and we could use that to stimulate the production of semiconductors in America. Right now, it's in its own bill. But in the bipartisan bill is enough money to provide every single American with broadband, and that is definitely something to cheer about. Over. It provides billions of dollars, an historic investment, in the roads that these trucks drive on and uh, in the fixing the bridges that these trucks drive on. And all of this is going to create jobs, 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 good paying American jobs in manufacturing for hardworking Americans. So it's awesome. I can hardly contain my excitement. Back over to you. All right. Well, what a long, strange trip it's been. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to learn more about what the Biden-Harris administration is doing on climate, energy, zero emission vehicles, go to whitehouse.gov. <laughs>
Kidnap, you hit me with her elbow. <laughs>